Hey guys, it's Chandra, and I wanted to show you what I got from Banggood. I was contacted by them, and they asked if I wanted to review their product. I'm not getting paid to review their product, and I told them yes, and as I always do, I tell people I'm telling the truth, okay? So they agreed to that, so I got to pick some products, and they sent them to me. Now, they came from China. And I got three different packages. This is everything that I got. I got three different packages and it took only a total of two weeks for everything from the time. I think, let me see when I gave her my final order. I just got the last bag today. And November 21st is when I gave my stuff. So December 5th. It's not too bad from China. Okay. I'll be honest with you. Um, and the prices on these dyes are unflippin' believable. Um, so I'm going to start with this masking. I haven't even opened this yet. I've seen this on eBay, not eBay, but Amazon. Um, so it's masking sticker sheet. Uh, you get 27 sheets and they're just like different sizes of washi tape. Um, this was $2.40 for 27 sheets, which is a lot cheaper than what I've seen on Amazon. So I will give them that. Um, looks like I got two of the same pack. I didn't realize I did that, but okay. The second thing I want to talk about are these rose dyes. You get two of them for $2 and 22 cents. And this is what you can make out of them. These like tiny roses, not tiny, but um, I was thinking that this bigger one could go on a paper clip. I just don't have big paper clips, you know, and that would be cute for like your little planner or whatever. So those are like really cute. I really like those. Um, this bow die is, and I'll leave the links below. And again, I'm not like making a commission on it, but this bow die is only a dollar forty-five, and it creates this bow right here. It's so cute. And that would be cute on a little paper clip too, or like on anything like here's the cat sticker. I don't know. It would just look, it would look cute. This is a splatter and it cut out. And this cardstock that I used is close to my Arami and Stampin' Up! cardstock. So it's pretty thick. Um, so there's that. Um, this did not cut well out of the Stampin' Up! cardstock, so I used just regular cardstock and then it cut out fine. Um, this heart, and okay, I'm, this, I don't know how much it is, but the heart was $2.42 um, for this heart, and that's what it looks like there. This die right here, I, I thought it was going to be like um, paintbrush marks or something. This did not work at all. It did not cut anything out the way it was supposed to. I don't even know if I still have, I should have saved um, the paper because it just, it just didn't cut. Like, I don't know if maybe I thought it was supposed to do something that it wasn't supposed to do. I have it. Yeah, here it is. There's the one I cut out of the um, close to my heart cardstock. And it's like, it didn't cut all the way through. You can see that. Um, and then here's regular like cardstock, and I don't know what that was supposed to do, but like it doesn't cut through at all. So I don't, I don't like this guy. Um, got this washi tape and the description said 10, here I'll click it cause I got the link still. It says 10 paper tape, colorful, decorative, rainbow, sticky adhesive scrapbooking. And it said $1.95 and it has a picture of 10 different colors of them. So I assumed that they were 10 for $1.95. When you scroll down, it does say one roll paper tape. So it says one roll. Um, that was my fault. But for $1.95, I, I don't think that's a good deal. I think that's too much for one roll. Just saying. And the last thing I got was this planner, which is smaller it's okay. So this is the Michaels planner and you can see that it's not as wide or as long, but it's just a hair smaller. Now these, I put some personal size inserts in there and they do fit. And these are the inserts that, um, Webster pages. Yeah. 
So those are the inserts from the Webster pages and they fit in there. And I printed these week on two pages off of um, mylifeallinoneplace.com. Um, and it seems to be um, okay. It's like pleather. I don't like this pin loop here because it keeps on getting stuck when I, when I go to close it. And you really can't use a pin there and then have it closed. It, because this magnet, this thing is not thick enough to go over. I'll show you. This is just a regular Papermate Ink Joy pen. It's really snug. It doesn't fit in there. You could, here's a Friction Pilot pen. Okay, that fits in there fine. This will close, but like you can't put anything else in there because if you put more in there, it won't close because the magnet is right here and the magnet is right there. So there's that. And the rings are small, er, but I have six months of inserts in here. So, I mean, it's, it's usable. And then I have the, these are the inserts from Michael's, um, from their line of gold. Um, see how it, like if I have these tabs in here, the pen moves over. I don't know if that bothers you. I guess you can't even see it, but, and then there's a loop on the front too. So I guess you can loop it through both of them. I don't know. I don't know. Or you have two different kinds of pins. But a regular pin won't fit. The friction pin um, will fit on there. Um, I will leave links to the stuff that I can find again. And again, this is banggood, B-A-N-G-G-O-O-D.com. And I, I would say with the exception, okay, this roll and then this die, I'm definitely going to go back and buy more dies because I didn't see any dies like over $4 and that's just crazy. And these right here are so cute. The flowers. I mean, I have that Tim Holtz tattered die thing for like 30 bucks and then you got to put the flowers together. So I'm happy with this. Um, so have a great day, guys. Bye.